What's up, baby? What's up? What are you doing? Chilling. Dude. Bored. Dude. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Mahul. We have some pretty cool cars. So we have what it was our 2020 SEMA build, which 2020 SEMA is now canceled, if you guys weren't aware. But uh, as we're waiting for the ECM from Holly, I've been doing all the miscellaneous things, like wiring my headlights, taillights, brake pedal, and all that stuff. I'm gonna show you guys on how, to, how I did all that stuff. But today I wanna show you guys some of the power windows because I ripped out every little BMW harness. That's the only way to make a BMW better is taking all the BMW out of it. As you guys see, we have Corvette motor. So, for the power windows, what we did was we got a double pole, double throw switch. I'm gonna link it down below, I got it from Amazon. And basically, I have my, uh, my, what do you call this? Window motor. Window, window motor. So I have my window motor, so I basically just chopped it off on the harness, so I have one cable and another cable, so which is a power and ground. Yes, I do have wire nuts at the moment. This is for testing. Basically, I'm using the yellow as ground right now and the red as power. So, have my double pull, double throw switch. You can connect your power to your power and ground, which is the black and white one. Black is ground, white is power. And then you can connect that to either side on the switch. And basically for the, the windows to go up and down, you gotta connect one of the powers and do it on the opposite end. Same thing for the window onto the opposite end. So once we have that, we can then make the window go up and down. And basically you can mount it wherever you want. But I just wanted to test this out so I can actually have See if this actually work and have theory and making it work. But just so you guys know, I do have an inline fuse, which is a 20 amp fuse. Uh, just so making sure I don't blow this right because it is a 20 amp um, switch, so I didn't want to blow the switch. So I put a 20 amp inline fuse, and again, temporarily just wire nuts because I will solder everything else later whenever I run the new cabling. So what do you think? Oh, dude, I'm so happy this works. Dude, this was like literally the one thing I was really paranoid about because like. Once ripping all the BMW harness out, I was like, well, how am I going to power this and how am I going to power my brake pedals and all that stuff? Well, I, it's literally all just power and ground. It's, it's literally all it is. And like, to me, a while to, to uh, comprehend that and literally putting it to the test. But this one has to be a momentary switch. So you can't use a regular three pole switch or. Uh, so, what's a momentary switch so, for all the viewers that don't know or do know? But let's just keep it, you yeah. know, simple. So, momentary is basically it's an on, off, on. So, basically, no matter what, the switch will always be in the on off position. Then you can switch it to go on either way, which is why it's a double pull, double throw. But this is what we want to use for a window because you can go up and down on the window. Because it doesn't stay stuck, right? You can do it right here Correct. and let go and it always goes back to neutral or off. Yeah, so this is a little waterproof cap. So, which I won't be using, but. No, you should. Uh, yeah, so just like that. So it's on, off, on. So, yeah, now I have power windows. Now I, I wouldn't have to do any of that rolly shit or rolly stuff. <laughs> so another thing I want to ask you guys is since now all we have in here just the window motor and the door lock, so should we make a new metal card to go with the dash to make it nice and clean? Or should I reuse the ones that I already bought but I kind of want to sell that, kind of make it nice and clean and simple. But let me know what you guys think, because honestly, I might want to do something simple. I don't know. I, I kind of like that look back there versus the metal ones. Yeah. That kind of gives it some depth. Uh, it gives it a, that little curvature. It, it still makes it feel like it's a, war, a normal car. Yeah. Versus if you do like the, the metal door card. True. It's just, you know, you're, you're going full race car, full send, and you yeah. can't street it ever again. Because I was going to power cut the dash the same exact color and the same exact texture. So it kind of flows. So it flows and transition. The back would be the far orange. So that's the way I'm just trying to go upon it. Uh, but comment below what you guys think of what we should do. If you want to see me make something or if you want to just say I should just buy or something, I can. Or if you guys want to buy these and I can make something, comment below. So, for this, right now I'm just using a 16 gauge. Uh, I mean, I could use 18 or whatever. I'm just using 16 because I got plenty of that. So the way I'm probably going to route this, this, again, for testing purposes, but like now, since I know it works for the double pull, double throw, and like my wiring is correct, now I can basically solder these two, which would be power and ground, and I can run it through the actual car 
and then I'll probably use the same ground for both these two switches and then that way I only have to worry about one ground and I'll do that as a chassis mount ground or to the distribution block uh, and then just run both the power to the back uh, to the fuse box oh yeah <laughs> snap hey boys hey boys Hey, what's up? All right, so I'm taking over right now. Uh, Matt will show y'all how to do the uh, the window switches and whatnot. But I kind of had an idea for him on what to do. And let me know what y'all think real quick. So my plan was in here from the A pillar to the B pillar to the C pillar, all the way across that top right there to start doing some chasing lights. Just so I don't know, some sort of a, a setup on both channels, you know, right up there and also right up here on the inside maybe go in here if we can real quick i just broke this <laughs> um kind of go under the seats maybe around the the roll cage i don't know just some kind of mood lighting just to kind of liven up the inside because well if you're gonna have fun in a race car you might as well have fun just you know yolo right yeah and I mean, you also need lights. You do need lights, so that's what I'm thinking. Like maybe do some chasers or something like that, just in there to liven things up. You know, if he wants to do the the orange setup, then you can have it lit up as orange or white or chasing whenever we're at shows and whatnot. Just a, a little bit of wow factor. But definitely comment in the description below and let him actually know what you guys think. All right. <laughs> 